Let's begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So today we are celebrating the solemnity or the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace to, to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who glory on the heart of beloved Son and recall the wonders of His love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from the fount of heavenly gifts to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock, when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered, when it was cloudy and dark. I will lead them out from among the peoples and gather them from the foreign lands. I will bring them back to their own country and pasture them upon the mountains of Israel in the land's ravens and all its inhabited places. In good pasture, I will pasture them, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing ground. There they shall lie down on good grazing ground, and in rich pastures shall they be pastured on the mountains of Israel. I myself will pasture my sheep, I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out, the strayed I will, bring I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son. How much more was reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received Reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you Lord. O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to the Pharisees and scribes. What man along you, having hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sits it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he called together his friends and neighbors and said to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost ship. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. And happy feast day to the sacred heart of Jesus. As we celebrate this feast day, we are reminded today the great love of God for us, His presence in our life, 
His presence in each one of us, His presence in our community, in our country, and in the creation. Sacred Heart of Jesus Feast, that we also have devotion every first Friday of the month. And the church is uh, asking us or trying to help us this feast once a year after the second Sunday after the Pentecost to remind us how wonderful the great love of God for us. That is why it's now the sacred heart of Jesus. And that sacred heart is meek and humble. Meek and humble in the sense that full of humility, full of mercy, full of compassion for us. And that is how Jesus loves us. And that heart, no? meek and humble, is ready always to accept us, whoever we are. That is why the theme for this feast is Jesus as our Good Shepherd, Ang Mabuting Pastor. And remember, during the time of Jesus, when they have the shepherd, they are all paid, they are salaried, and they don't care if one of the sheep is lost. But in this analogy of the gospel, telling us that there is a 100 sheep taken care by a shepherd, and one is lost. Sa atin siguro sabihin mo, ah, mabayaan mo na lang yan, isa man lang yan, siya man lang nawala, suwail siguro yan, pasaway yan. Ah, lima naman ang anak ko, pasaway ang isa, yan mo na yan, you'll remain with the five. The exact opposite of what Jesus is teaching us. Jesus is teaching us, He has to leave the 99 and look for the lost one. Di ba? Opposite sa ating pag-isip bilang tao, we have to think about that. Na, ay ang ating pag-isip yan, imagine 99 yan, mawalang isa, hindi ko na nga mabilang, 99 pa. So, bakit ko pahanapin na yan mo na yan, mahulog yan, mawala, marami pa naman. That is our human thinking. Sa pag-isip natin, opposite sa pag-isip ng Panginoon para sa atin. When one is lost out of 199 is left, he will leave the 99. The gospel is telling us that he will leave the 99 who has no way of asking for repentance because of righteousness. Here is the lost one. Nawala. Hanapin niya, hanapin. And ano pang sabi niya? When I found him, I will, the heaven and earth will rejoice. Remember the prodigal son. Did you remember that prodigal son? Now we nas, we naldas ang lahat, no? At the end, he re, he remember to go back. When he go back, the father has to say nothing, but just to say, rejoice! Let's prepare a banquet. Your brother is lost. Now he come back. What a beautiful statement for us we are lost and god is welcoming us because as one of the gospel passage saying that anyone who is entrusted to the by the father to his son he will never abandon he will never reject he will embrace all and take to his side Ito yun, mga kapatid, alalahanin natin as we celebrate the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. That He is a good shepherd, taking care of His flock, that nobody should be lost, all should be taken to Him. Tandaan natin yan. Tayo ay suwail, tayo ay makasalanan. And where are we? Kung baga saan tayo pulutin? Kung wala si Jesus na nagmamahal sa atin, kung wala si Jesus na sa kanyang kamahal-mahalan na puso ay handa sa pagtanggap sa atin kahit sino man tayo. ba? Sabi nga, kunting pagmamahal, kunting pagtingin. If Jesus is doing and trying to embrace each one of us, 
can we do the same? Can we show this love of Jesus to us in the love of brothers and sisters? By taking care also of them, especially the lost. Huwag tayong mag makasarili. Hayaan mo na yan. Adik yan, hayaan mo yan. Uh, mag hayaan mo na sila. Nawawala naman yan. Marami pa dyan. If we love those who love us, what merit us? We are called by the Lord to love one another. To love especially the world the lost. That is what Jesus here for us. Pinadala siya ng ating ama. For what? To suffer and died on the cross in spite na wala siyang kasalanan. It is because of the love of the Father to us. He spared or He allowed His Son to die on the cross for our sake, for His love for us. Hindi ba natin naramdaman yan? Hindi ba natin maalaala yan? Sino ba tayo na mahalin ng Diyos? Ita, isa lang tayo sa mga nilikha sa mundo na ito. But God the Father loves the creation. Most especially, He loves us so much. Even if we are sinner, even if we have the worst sinner in the world, then if we go back, repent and reconcile, the Lord is so happy and will rejoice in our returning back or reconciliation. Ito mga kapatid, tandaan natin. Ang Diyos, dyan sa lahat na panahon, sa lahat na oras, kung tayo ay babalik sa Kanya. Ito yon ang Kanyang minsay para sa atin as we celebrate the sacred heart of Jesus. The sacred heart of Jesus make Him humble, who ready to accept and embrace us. There's a big space in His heart. All of us, even if we are sinner, even if kitang pinakasaway sa pamilya, sa society, remember, God loves us so much. Especially, because sabi niya, I did not came for the righteous. I came for sinners like us. So ito yun ang tandaan natin, mga kapatid. Do not lose hope. Kahit marami tayong kasalanan, mahal tayo ng Diyos. Kung minsan, yung kasalanan natin, yun panagdala sa atin na magbalik loob sa Diyos. Hindi ko kaya. Ako ay makasalanan. Lord, rescue me. Lord, take care of me. Lord, rejoice in coming back to you. For I am nothing without you. And that heart of Jesus is full of love, full of compassion, taking each one of us and giving space in our heart. Can we do the same, my dear brothers and sisters? Can we open also our heart? Hindi lang sa nagmamahal sa atin, yung mga pasaway sa atin, yung kalaban natin, yung uh, ginyumilye tayo, o pinag... Uh, na gumawa ng mga sa atin, can we give also space in our heart? Kahit sa gilid na lang, kahit itabi na lang dito sa puso natin, pwede ba ilagay din natin sila? Through our prayers. no? Lord, ito yung tao na on, noon, nilalait ako kasi ako wala-wala. Wala talaga. Mag-revenge ba tayo? Sabi ni Lord, revenge is mine. So my dear brothers and sisters, if Jesus... As we celebrate this feast of solemnity of the sacred heart, allow each one of us to be all accommodated in his heart. Can we also accommodate our brothers and sisters in our heart? Sa ating puso, na sana na puso nagmamahal, hindi lang sana nagmamahal sa atin, kundi yun ang mga kahit hindi nagmamahal sa atin. In to love the unlovable, give also space in our heart. To have a heart like Jesus, meek and humble. So, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue today and reflecting on the feast of Sacred Heart of Jesus, let us ask the Lord. Let us ask a prayer that, like Jesus, will allow also others to be in our heart, so that they will also find joy and peace, so that each one of us will always find the reward of eternal peace in heaven if we give space to each other as Jesus gives space in his meek and humble of heart. Let us all stand to profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, 
and in, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray to the Father with confidence because in Christ He has set His heart upon us. Our response, fill us with Your love, Lord. Fill us with Your love, Lord, that the Catholic Church may be a credible sign and instrument of Christ's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with Your love, Lord, that families may live in true love and mutual understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. That those who labor and are overburdened may find rest in the generous heart of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. That the sick may know the love of Christ as they unite themselves with the suffering of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord that the dead may find eternal joy in the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. In the silence of our heart, let us also pray for our own personal intentions, the intentions that we offer in this Mass, and also the intention of those people asking us to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. Merciful Father, receive the prayers we offer in union with the pierced heart of your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness. You have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, in work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a great acceptable to you in ex expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, who raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us, with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his fear side, the wellspring of the church sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the spring of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. We call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have been as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread to other world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, the religious, the laity, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand.
At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, whether to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. Be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ
families. Heavenly Father, we come, come before, before you, you to, to praise, praise you and to thank you for the great gift of the family. family. We pray, pray to you for, for all families, families consecrated by the sacrament of matrimony. May they rediscover power. each day the grace they have received and as small, small domestic churches. churches. May they know how to witness to your presence and to the love with which Christ loves the church. We pray to you for all families faced with difficulty and suffering caused by illness or circumstances of which only you know. Sustain them and make them aware of the path to holiness upon which you call them so that they might experience your infinite mercy and find new ways to grow in love. We pray to you for children and young people. May they encounter you and respond joyfully to the vocation you have in mind for them. We pray for parents and grandparents. May they be aware that they are signs of fatherhood and motherhood of God in caring for the children who in body and spirit you entrust to them for the experience of fraternity that the family can give to the world. Lord, grant that each family might live their specific vocation to holiness in the church as a call to become missionary disciples in the service of life and peace, in communion with our priests, religious, and all vocations in the church. Bless the world meeting of families. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with a fire of holy love, so that, drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. So palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Happy Feast Day, Sacred Heart of Jesus. Now we will bless our sick brothers and sisters and also blessing for rosaries and other religious articles. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of blessing for rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.